Hello Saints, God bless you. Happy 4th of July 2024. I am coming to you from our hotel room and in this video I'm going to share with you a, I guess you could call it a word of wisdom, prophetic, possibly prophetic exhortation from Wanda Alger. All right, this is going to be something great for you to chew on, but make sure you watch to the end because what I'm going to do is I am going to show you uh, the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful scenery with some videos and images from where my wife and my mom um, took when we were in Toronto, Canada, or rather Niagara Falls area on the side of Canada. So we took some amazing videos and a few photos. And so I just thought I would mix it up here. And because it is the 4th of July at the very end, would you like to see the fireworks display over Niagara Falls? Well, hopefully you say yes. So I got plenty of videos to show you short clips. And this is perfect because this prophetic word of wisdom from Wanda Alger is short, but very powerful. And, and hopefully you have already recognized her, uh, recognized that the grace of God is upon her uh, for wisdom and discernment and very, very sound advice. So we give glory to God and we honor the servant of God, Wanda Alger. So make sure you check out down below for her information about her ministry as well. All right. So let me read this to you and you can enjoy a wonderful slideshow and videos and whatnot. And I hope that you are having a safe and blessed 4th of July. The Lord is going to do even greater things this year for us. All right. But the process is not over. Even after November 5th, the process is still not over. We still have to continue to be strong and pray because the enemy <laughs> has lost. He's going to lose and he's going to be even more livid <laughs> and ticked off than he is right now. All right. So let's begin. It says here, it's time to decree God's narrative instead of reacting to the world's version of reality. A decree is an official order issued by a legal authority. Wanda goes on to say, our spiritual adversary is trying really hard to dictate our nation's future through deception, manipulation, and control. We can spin our wheels trying to determine the enemy's next move. We can theorize about his strategies and argue about his methods. But maybe instead of wasting time with headlines that prove false or narratives that only distract, we should simply decree God's vision for our future. Let's pause there, saints. <clears throat> We're already 30% done from this short word. All right, but let's pause there. Okay, notice that the Holy Spirit is confirming things that I was even talking about. Uh, either just yesterday's video or the day before, I can't remember, but this week. So we thank God for, for we are in the zone. We are in the flow, in the stream of Holy Spirit and what he's speaking during these times regarding decrees, regarding our focus. All right, so let's type these two uh, decrees. Let's type, let's stop wasting time with the enemy's headlines or on the enemy's headlines. If you want to put, let's stop wasting time, that's good enough. Amen. And let's also type this. We must decree God's vision for our future. Now, you don't even have to be in the United States to decree that. You should want God's will for your life. If you haven't gotten to that point yet, I pray you get to that point because your life will completely change when you surrender your will. All right, let's continue. Wanda says, God's intentions are far above the world's understandings and far more powerful than any counter moves of the enemy. Do you know what they are? Mm. Now, let me just remind you, 1 Corinthians chapter 1 and 2. These are powerful scriptures. If you could just read 1 Corinthians 1 and 2 over and over and over, go eventually, I believe you, you will get, be free of that carnal mind and understanding, leaning on your own understanding, as we are warned in Proverbs, and you will realize that God's ways and thoughts are higher, even as it says in Isaiah. And he tells us that spiritual things can only be discerned spiritually which is why you, Holy Spirit, filled wonderful saints trying to talk to people who are carnal, even Christians, carnal Christians, they just don't get it. They refuse to let go and yield to the way God sees things, his same things. They want to hold on to their thoughts, to their opinions, to their versions, to their, you know, just wanting to air their own thoughts. Well, with all due respect, think about it. Any Christian who's doing that loves themselves more than God. It's not to be mean. Just think about it. They refuse to want to believe that God said a certain thing 
they would prefer to think, well, I think this, and, and I don't like this person, and that person said this, and this business is doing this, and the world's going to end, and this and that. Oh my gosh, who are you serving with that negativity? Think about it. Amen? But we are not like that. we got to stand out. Jesus said, you are the light of the world. So we need to shine. Notice what comes out of your mouth. Become aware of what you talk about, because what you think about is all in your heart and out of the abundance of your heart. That's your soul. Your mouth will speak. Notice what it is that you are constantly talking about. That is a sign to you, for yourself, of what has the majority of your focus on the inside. All right. Okay, let's finish up. Praise the Lord. Let me know if that helped you in the comments. Now the Lord says here, or rather, let me just say, uh, Wanda Alder continues in this last part, and she says, The ecclesia has been given the sole jurisdictional, whoa, spiritual authority over this nation. God has chosen us to be his mouthpieces in the world, regardless of what our enemies do or say. It is only God's words that will ultimately prevail. Whoa, let me repeat that again. That's what we're talking about. In fact, as I repeat it, go ahead and type that in the comments. God has chosen us to be his mouthpieces in the world. Okay, now if you want to add this, you can add it or you can do a separate comment, which says this. Only, can you please put that in caps, saints, only God's words, okay, that's uh, uh, capital G, God's, okay, don't put lowercase g, that is an insult because the God of this world, lowercase g, is the devil, uppercase g for our God, the creator. Only God's words will ultimately prevail, okay? Now, the last few lines, and we are the ones to speak these words, to speak them. We're the ones to have the words of life in our mouth and heaven's backing to speak into existence the purposes and intentions of the Lord. Now, many people will say, oh, no, that's the, that's the blab it and grab it, um, name it and claim it, blah, blah, blah. And they, they think this, you know, they think back to prosperity gospels, etc., blah, blah, blah. And they don't have the understanding of God. No, that's what decrees and declarations are. And the Lord, even in the New Testament, told us that we are to speak things into existence that be as if it were. I didn't word that right, but you know what I mean. Even that which you do not see manifested just yet. If you know it is the will of God, you are to speak it into existence with a pure heart, with a humble heart. Okay? The whole prosperity thing, that is a twisted version. And, and to be honest, some people got carried away with it. Okay. But the Lord, the Lord's version, God wants us to be full of life and abundance to do his will. He wants to work it through us. All right. And the last thing said here, Wanda says, what is God telling you to speak over this nation? Go ahead and leave that in the comments. And lastly, she says, what is God's narrative that will prevail over every enemy and scheme? Feel free to put your thoughts in the comments below. All right. Now, saints, God bless you. Happy 4th of July. Once again, stay tuned and watch these next several videos. And at the very end, the fireworks. All right. That we've recorded not only for memories, but to share with you because we love you. All right. Uh, and later on, I'll do another video and I'll, I'll have a whole lot more like slideshow and, and other things for those who are interested because you are like family. All right. Some people, they won't get it because they'll think it has to be prophetic. We're family. All right. So I'll do another video of that later on. God bless you. Enjoy the show.
I am under Niagara Falls. Check this out. Ooh.